is a video showcasing a password manager device I made back in 2018 and it's based on Arduino and I'm just gonna showcase how it works so it has this I think half an inch um, or or one inch uh, OLED display and first it uh, asks you to authenticate so you can input a passcode by doing like uh, one like uh, code with the joystick but you can also use RFID so I have this RFID tag it uh, authenticates by it uh, I think it read uh, if I can remember it reads the uh, the UID of this tag and if it matches the one programmed here then it's uh, it will let you in so I can just put it near here and now I'm in so it first start, starts in the vault section uh, it has all of the passwords you have in here um, then there are different uh, you know, from from here you can uh, go to the tools section it has a mouse mode so I can press the mouse mode and if I look at the mouse where's my mouse here and if I press up it goes up and down and right and left the joystick is a bit finicky right now that's matter of calibration it has been in my backpack for two years now so the joystick is a bit uh, bit scuffed but it's okay you can exit the mouse mode by pressing the the only button it has and then there's the change key that uh, does not work right now but uh, it will be a feature then I can go was there only two I think there was the generate oh yeah there it is I can generate a new key or a new password and then you can uh, hold it it will read from the joystick and it will generate the password based on where you're holding so it's always random it's not uh, it's not trusting just the built-in random function now after generating the password I can go down on the list and here is the new password I generated the AVX it will just put a random random stuff there I can uh, um, Put the for example this was my old laptop's password it is just a generated password and I have changed it changed it since then I can uh, input it from here so I will press the button on the XPS 13 and then it gives me options I can input it copy it show it on this OLED screen or uh, press left to cancel so I will just write it here on the note but no normally you would have a uh, uh, a login screen here so for example if I wanted to log into my laptop I would have the cursor on the on the uh, on the password input input box and then I would press input and then it would log me in but let's just put it here on the notepad so I will press up on the d-pad and here it goes it's a cartridge raging hardcover it's uh, just uh, randomly generated with the uh, I think uh, the Bitwarden software, but I'm not using that password anymore. So no, that just you don't you're not gonna use it that for anything. So there we go, and I can input any of these passwords, and that's about it. I can show you the insides of this. I will just power it off. Just pull the plug. just uh, I can open the it's so tight that I don't need to even like hold it 
I can, you can just put it here and it will stay there. But there's this small gap. I can just do this. And here's the... It's pretty tight. So this is a 3D printed case I made. Um, no, there you can see a <laughs> bit of the tape underside. That's just the underside. So this is... Uh, I made this first with the... In, I designed it so it fits in a case and then I designed the case around it. So here it is, that's the OLED. All of these parts are from are cheap parts from China, so they're not that high quality, but they work, so it's fine. So here's uh, the OLED screen. It's, uh, I think, 0.96 inch or something like that, so basically one inch OLED disc display, just one color. Then there's a big uh, push button and uh, PSP joystick, which is pretty low profile. I have lost the uh, the cap for this. If if I have the cap for it, it would first go. This would go in, and then you would put the cap on top here. But I have lost the cap. But it works without the cap as well. There's the the brains inside there. Um, Right here, it's uh, Arduino Pro Micro, I think. It has the um, the 30, 32U4 processor, I think. So that gives me the uh, the HID capabilities. And there's a SD card reader, and uh, there's just uh, you can you can write the passwords on the SD card, and I cannot remember, it has been such a long time since I programmed this, if they're encrypted somehow or not. But I assume they are, because I... Or they might not be, because it's still, like, not fully fully functional. And you can you can access the SD card there, I, I can do it one-handed, but you can. Just take it out and then put new passwords in. And then there's the RFID reader it's the cheap rc522 i was thinking of making a new new model with the uh with the newer one or not the newer one maybe the newer i don't know but the more advanced one you can use um i can remember it's like pn something i think but you can uh use this with an android phone or something but it's also a lot smaller than this one so I could basically fit the whole thing in this uh, footprint because the size of this is basically um, dictated by the size of the RFID tag like I, I could make it a lot smaller if this was not that big so the version 3 could be with the with this one so it would be a it would be a lot smaller, but we'll see. So that's about it. That is the uh, the OLED, uh, the uh, the password manager. The total cost of this uh, this project was about I don't know ten bucks or ten euros maybe. Um, the RFID tag. Oh, there's a. Oh yeah. Uh, the RFID tag is like one euro, I think. The SD card reader is less than one euro. The Pro Micro was the, I think, the most expensive part. It's uh, around five euros. The joystick and the buttons are like, I don't know, less than one euro for both of them. If I have, I, I think I bought a pack of ten of these or something like that. The joysticks and the the OLED screen was like two euros or something. I, I ordered all of these parts from China. And the SD card, of course, it's a, I'm, I'm using a pretty overkill 16 gig SD card here, but you could use it like a two gig card or how, how small you can use because you're gonna, not, you're just gonna put some text files there and, and yeah. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.